This was by far the hardest movie I've ever got to wow. film. It gets harder every time. Why did Gal Gadot only read the Wonder Woman script on the first day of filming? What part of her physical preparation was unexpectedly painful? And why did Gal need a stunt double for a motionless scene in Justice League? Hi, I'm Dylan, and let's unpack Gal Gadot's strict rules with… Start Blind Five years ago, Gal Gadot was thinking about quitting acting. She had a series of almost-got-the-role moments, which led to frustration and despair. So when producer Zack Snyder offered her an audition for a secret role, Gadot agreed without much hesitation. The role was so secret that Gal wasn't told anything about her character or the story, not even a hint of the context. Just imagine her excitement when she found out that she'd be doing camera reads for Wonder Woman! Still, she couldn't even share the joy of landing the role with anybody because, yes, top secret. But that strict approach did not change later on. As Gal's co-star Kristen Wiig shared, everything you get from Warner Brothers is like, your computer will explode if you open this. Yes, in order to ensure total secrecy and avoid any plot leaks, DC went as far as only giving the actors their scripts on the first day of shooting. For Gal Gadot, it was super challenging to come on set totally blind as to what would happen next. And of course, once she had read the script, the actress could not give any comments on the movie or her character's journey. Right, Wonder Woman has no right to become Spoiler Woman. But that foolproof method is certainly efficient in bringing genuine surprise for the fans and as a result earning impressively at the box office. Yes, the first Wonder Woman movie grossed a stunning $821.8 million globally. So, the next rule on the list is… Play long, be loyal. The desired role of Diana Prince came to Gadot as part of an obligatory three-movie deal from DC Studio. Right, once Wonder Woman got a new face, the studio had to ensure that the match would last longer than one movie. While it may seem like a win-win situation, long-term contracts are really challenging for actors nowadays. And you never know what other roles Gal had to decline to film those three binding movies. Yet, we know that the actress had quite an intense, almost super-heroic schedule. Wonder Woman and Justice League both came out in 2017. And to make that happen, Gal had to star in two movies in a row without even one day off in between them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Justice League's original director Zack Snyder had to quit production due to a family tragedy. And with the new director, Joss Whedon, the cast and crew had to do mandatory reshoots of about 80 pages of the script. At that time, Gal was five months pregnant with her second child, Maya. The actress did not want to be thought of as weak, so she silently got the job done without complaints or extra breaks. Every cut, I had to go and run and vomit oh. somewhere. Oh my gosh. So I had an assistant with a bucket. Gal's baby bump was covered with a triangle of bright green cloth that was to be digitally edited in post-production. As she later shared, On close-up, I looked very much like Wonder Woman. On wide shots, I looked very funny, like Wonder Woman pregnant with Kermit the Frog. Well, you may call that loyalty, but there's more to it. Like other DCEU stars, Gal is banned from making appearances in competitive comic movies by Marvel. Moving on to the rule titled… Be Humble When Gal signed the deal for three movies with DC, she still had valid reasons to worry about her Wonder Woman future. Why, you ask? One of the clauses in her contract states that the actress can be replaced in her superhero role and she cannot claim any right to contest it. How unfair is that? Well, as long as Gal plays by the rules, keeps topping the box office, and is loved by the audience, she'll remain our Diana Prince. And luckily, Gal does much more than that, empowering millions of fans all over the world. This replaceable approach allows the studio to have some measure of control over superheroes and to avoid divas on the cast. You know how power and fame can change people, right? Back in 2008, Edward Norton played the first Marvel's Hulk, but he went too far in his demands for creative control. And it was a really fast and loud goodbye. Greetings to all of Mark Ruffalo's fans. While Gal is ambitious and creative, she's also wise enough to respect the crew and be friendly to everyone. She's no diva, and everyone who gets to know the actress says that she's humble and really down to earth. According to Gal, having a family is what really keeps you grounded, and to her, family always comes first. And that humble attitude pays off. Gal shared that she did have some creative influence on the Wonder Woman 1984 plot. 
Yes, the trio of director Patty Jenkins, Chris Pine, and Gal Gadot came up with the basic idea for Wonder Woman's sequel while filming the first movie. But according to the actors, it was a natural outcome of their collaboration and chemistry. Good job! Work out harder than a soldier Obviously, becoming the Amazon princess requires insane preparation. Gal has a small frame, and she needed to bulk up in order to get into a female warrior shape. Some naysayers claimed that Gal's curves were too humble for Diana, and the actress addressed that in a hilarious way. She reminded her critics that the real Amazons had only one breast, so historical accuracy is not the main focus of the story. Well, thanks for that. Anyways, Gal managed to gain 17 pounds of muscle with her intense workout routine. She started preparation six months prior to the shooting, and she worked out for six hours every day to get in shape. Oh, in case you somehow missed it, prior to acting, Gal served two years in the Israeli army. She also has 12 years of dance experience, so this girl knows a lot about discipline and endurance. Still, as Gal shared with Kelly and Ryan, her training for Wonder Woman was way harder than being in the military. So, her routine included swordsmanship, kung fu, kickboxing, capoeira, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, rowing and mountain climbing, not to mention extensive full-body gym workouts. And those involved barbell exercises, burpees, and push-ups. Was it exhausting? Sure. But Gal managed to get her toned Wonder Woman look while still staying feminine. And when she's not preparing for the role, the actress prefers paddleboarding and TRX to keep in shape. Still, there was one more important element of her Wonder Woman training that deserves a separate point. Ride that horse The Amazon princess Diana is used to riding horses, and Gal Gadot had to become a pro in that domain too. And while the star initially thought that horse riding was barely a sport and that the animal does all the work, she learned in practice that she was very wrong. And this definitely wasn't a fake it till you make it case. Gadot shared that for her, it was the hardest part of training, and martial arts was easy peasy in comparison. Yup, beautiful horses brought her a really painful, bruise inducing experience. But in the end, the actress was so convincing in the saddle. Well done, gal! No trouble without stunt double. You may ask why the actress needed to do so many different types of training when she could have just used a stunt double. Well, unlike Batman, Wonder Woman does not have a mask to cover her face, so most of the hard work was done by Gal Gadot personally. Gal, who's also a producer on the latest film, said, Petty made a, a, a big point about wanting to have minimum amount of CGI, which is great and I love the idea. I just didn't really understood what it meant for me. <laughs> and even running appeared to be a hell of an adventure. I was wired like from here and from here and they pulled me in the same speed as Usain Bolt. But with all that intense fight choreography, the actress could not avoid getting hurt. She admitted to having many different spine injuries. Still, Gal had two stunt girls to help her do the most dangerous superhero stuff. And one of the stunt doubles replaced Gal in a motionless scene. As reporter Grace Randolph shared on Twitter, the actress refused to shoot a comedic yet sexualized scene in which the flash lands on her body. But since we know that Gal was pregnant back then, this alleged decision seems quite logical, right? Rock that suit All of Wonder Woman's iconic looks were inspired by the original comic book, and let's just agree that Gal looks stunning in each of them. But many of the scenes had to be shot during the English winter, and those skimpy outfits made it really challenging. The actress shared that it was freezing. As for her most recent looks, Gadot admitted that the golden armor suit is just incredible. There's something about this suit, about the golden armor, that immediately puts you in character. It looks good and I feel sexy wearing it. It feels amazing, she said in her interview with The Sun. Yet that blinding suit brought additional challenges. It took Gal a while to get used to how tight the golden armor was, and at first she almost passed out. Whoa, that superhero fashion is harsh. Next rule on the list is… Eat fit. So, super tight suits, you say? Sure, Gal worked out a lot, but that wouldn't have been enough without a proper meal plan. Given her beauty queen past, it may surprise you that Wonder Woman is a foodie in real life. Gal loves burgers and ice cream with chocolate, but she had to cut those cheat meals down while preparing for her role. The actress has her own pre-workout ritual to start the day. I always drink a tablespoon of apple vinegar, water, and coffee. 
If you don't drink enough water yet, maybe Wonder Woman will inspire you. Gal claims to drink one gallon of water every day. Her breakfast includes a protein-packed meal, usually eggs, also greens and fruit. Lunch and dinner are for lean proteins and veggies. Hmm, not that complicated, right? Be a role model. You can't be Wonder Woman on the silver screen and act the opposite in real life. When Gal agreed to becoming a superhero, she took on a much greater responsibility to be a role model. Yes, Gal is raising two little women at home and a whole generation of fans around the world. As the star shared, I can't imagine my life without Wonder Woman. It's been so intense and so powerful and had such an impact on my personal life. Gal says that her character stands for love and hope and acceptance and fighting evil. She loves seeing people dress up as Wonder Woman. I love that people get to do it and I love that they enjoy doing it, and I enjoy watching them. And the fact that they are women and men, it's incredible and it's great. It's another way to celebrate this character. Gal often steps out in her Wonder Woman gear for charity, visiting hospitals and fundraisers for youth empowerment. She's an advocate for equal access to education and helped build a new school for underprivileged kids. And whether she's wearing her armor suit or not, Gal is surely the Wonder Woman we need. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Which of Gal Gadot's rules surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments and please stay awesome.